Hello friends and welcome to PyShine. This video is about creating a basic graphical user interface in Python. This is part 1 of PyQt5 learning series. After watching this video you will be able to create a custom GUI with a menu and submenu in it. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribe for latest videos. We assume that you already have installed Python 3 and PyQt5. If not, please install using the link in the description below. After that, simply type Designer in the PowerShell and press Enter. Select Main Window and press Create button. Now press Ctrl and R keys to run this main window. We can resize this main window. On the right hand side, we have the property menu. Click on the adjust size icon and then resize the main window. The width and height parameters are now showing the values according to your selection. You can also enter the width and height. Let's run it again. This window has a status bar. Let's click on it and add some text to the status tip. As we move the mouse pointer, the text appears. In the object inspector, let's click on menu bar. Here we click on the menu bar to add the text for the menu. Let's run it. To add a menu item, simply click on the menu and type the text for the menu item. Let's run it again. As you can see, now the Pie Shine menu has a new menu item. Let's add an image icon to this new menu item. In the object inspector, click on the action new object for the class Q action. Then, on the value for icon, click and select choose file. Now, if we run it again the icon will appear left to the new menu item. Let's add another menu item exit. We can also create a sub menu. Simply click on the plus icon and expand the sub menu items. Let's run it. We now have menu and sub menu items. Let's save this UI file as main.ui. Let's open up the PowerShell by simply pressing Shift and right click in the folder. To convert this UI file to Python file, type this command and press Enter. An output file will be generated as main.py. Let's run this main.py file to visualize the auto-generated main window. As you can see the window has exactly the same dimensions and the functionality we gave it in the designer. In next video we will continue the PyQt5 learning series. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon in PyShine.